Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Julian from SynthwavePro.com. In this Synthwave tutorial, I wanted to discuss parallel compression, especially as it relates to our drums and the Synthwave genre. Okay, so let's play our song here and we can dive deeper. All right, so a really cool synth wave vibe here, but let's pay attention to this return channel. Now I've set up a glue compressor and I have most of my signals going to this particular channel, but I wanna pay more attention to the kick and the snare. So let's play this. And you can see that I'm really smashing this. I'm taking as much as almost 20 dBs of gain reduction here for our kick and snare, All right? And this is what we are blending back to our mix. So this is what it sounds like without, now with. Okay, now you might not hear much of a difference there and that's partly because, well, I like to add some saturation and once I enable this saturator by soft tube, you'll really start to hear the difference. All right, let me solo that return channel here. There we go, you can hear that crunch. Disabled. Saturator enabled. Now it's providing a lot of that lo-fi grit and that's absolutely gorgeous for this particular style of synth wave. The next thing I wanna do to really sort of keep it within the genre is to simply do some EQ changes here. So what I like to do here is boost the lower frequencies here with my shelving and sort of boost up the top frequency ranges and scoop out some of those middle frequency ranges. This is pretty much where we hear a lot of that mud. So I'm cutting this out. There we go. That's the sound we want, especially for that top end. So without the EQ, Sounds kind of muffled, kind of boxy. And with. Right? Cool stuff. Last but not least, I'm using alloy here. And what I'm doing is pretty much boosting the attack and reducing that sustain. I don't want this hit to be too long. I just want it to come in and out. So I'm cranking up that attack and lowering the sustain. If I were to toggle this plugin on and off, here's the difference. And with, without, with. Now let's go ahead and toggle this channel on and off and we can see what the differences are. Okay, I'm just gonna bring back all these other instruments. I'm gonna disable this and bring it back in every now and then. So without, So this is a really easy way of adding some punch and some top end sizzle to our overall sound. As a quick recap here, we've added the glue compressor and we're taking out about 15 to 20 dBs of gain reduction here. And we've also added some saturation, which is coloring the sound in a nice, pleasing way. We've also scooped out some of those lower mids with the EQ here and we've boosted, courtesy of the shelving EQ here, uh, we've boosted the lower frequencies as well as the top and here, this is how you get that nice tss, tss sound for the, those, those, those sort of drums that we sort of come to associate with synthwave uh, music. And we've also added the alloy uh, plug in here just to sort of cut down on the sustain as we don't want it ringing out for too long. All right, really simple stuff here, guys. You can always experiment and add a lot more plugins to your parallel uh, return channel here and uh, see how it goes, all right? That's it for this tutorial, guys. If you're interested in learning some more about Synthwave music production, then I urge you to check out my master classes over at synthwavepro.com. We discuss things like workflow, sound design, mixing, and mastering, all right? 
That being said, guys, subscribe to the channel if you found this useful and you'd like to get some more information on upcoming tutorials. Hit that bell notification button. And with that said, stay safe and I'll see you next time.